we'd like to hear how to get out of here in English. We are not Captain Moody's nieces and nephews. Honest. Don't say that. It'll explode my whole brilliant theory. I'll have to push the old mental button and switch to Operation Backup. How does that work? I back up and start all over again. Take share wrong. While you're backing up, can we please go ahead and leave? Nobody leaves till I solve the mystery. Like what mystery? Now we're wasting time. The guilty one might as well confess. Sooner or later, somebody's gonna crack. All right, come on, kids, cop out. You really are the captain's nieces and nephews, aren't you? No, we're not. Now, just take us to Captain Moody. He'll tell you. I can't. That's the mystery. The captain's gone. Disappeared, vanished into thin air, and I gotta find him. All right, we'll reconstruct the crime. First, I got a desperate phone call this morning from Captain Moody. He wanted my help because something evil was about to happen. Like what? Well, he started to tell me. Said he invited his two nieces and two nephews up here for a big dinner this weekend. Then we were cut off. I smelled foul play and rushed right up. And when you got here, Captain Moody was gone. That's it. Baffling case. It's what we call a habeas corpus with no corpus delicti. That's a little trade talk we master sleuth to use. <laughs> I guess when we showed up, you thought we were the captain's nieces and nephews. It was a wild guess. I play every angle. Never miss a trick. <laughs> like, maybe the other kids are coming tomorrow night. Maybe. But I think one of them showed up a day early and zap, foul play. <laughs> The place is so riddled with secret doors and tunnels and things, it's worse than termites. Why do you suspect one of the captain's nieces or nephews? The old captain's worth millions. Each kid inherits a fourth of the estate when he dies. Now, they're his only relatives. Like, what are you looking for? The captain. I may be able to save him if I can get to him in time. Do you think the captain's still here? No sign of him being taken away, no struggle. But there's an awful lot of house and grounds to cover. I could use help on this manhunt. Can we do anything? I warn you, this is a dangerous game. Evil lurks around every corner. Well, then maybe we'd better... I accept your offer. You're all officially on the case now. Wow, working with the world's most famous private eye. You two cover the old mine on the hill back of the house. Search the shaft, the mill, everything. You two cover the private cemetery between the house and the mine. If we find the captain there, forget it. That's an order. Spread out the dragnet. <laughs> yeah! All right, I got you covered. Turn around, feet apart, hands up against the wall. Oh, it's you. Yeah, yeah it's me. You want an assignment, too? <laughs> well, let's see. Maybe I got a little paperwork. <laughs> bloodhound. Always wanted to work with a bloodhound. You think you can handle that? Uh -huh. Now, a good bloodhound has to be able to follow a trail, you know. <laughs> He's got to stick to it like glue. <laughs> That's pretty good sticking. Now, here's a little trade secret. A top bloodhound always sniffs something the victim wore and gets a scent. Captain Moody was wearing these socks the day before he vanished. Go to work. Go to work.